welcome back to English with Lucy. So you might have noticed that recently I've been doing a series on things you should never do in English or things you should never say and you guys seem to be reacting really well to it and really enjoying it. So I'm back today with another video, this time about letters that you should never ever pronounce in British English. Yes, so today we're going to be talking about silent letters in British English words. I'm going to run through the letters alphabetically. It's going to be really easy for you to understand, really easy for you to remember and revise at a later date. Before we start the lesson, I would just like to remind you of a fantastic opportunity from the sponsor of today's video, which will help you boost your English level even further. It's the Lingoda Language Marathon. The marathon is an opportunity to take one group class every day for three months and get all of your money back. If you've not heard of Lingoda before, it's an online language academy which offers really high quality group and private classes with qualified native teachers. If the full marathon seems like too much for you, you can also take the half marathon, where you take 15 classes per month for three months and get 50% of your money back. In order to succeed and get your money back, you have to participate in an agreed number of classes each month. That's 30 for the full marathon and 15 for the half marathon. The languages available are English, Spanish, French, German and Business English. And for that last one, you will need a level B1 or above in English as it's focused on special skills like giving presentations and job interviews. The marathon runs from the 21st of January 2019 to the 20th of April. You have until the 14th of January to register, but hurry because places are limited. So you need to pay for three months, but don't forget, if you complete the marathon successfully, you'll get your money back. If you'd like to know more about the marathon, head to my announcement video where I've covered all of the details, or you can just head straight to the registration link in the description. Lingoda charges a five euro entry fee, but you can get a four euro 50 discount and only pay 50 cents if you use my code study one. Not only will your language skills skyrocket, but you'll also get up to 800 euros back into your account. I think that is a really great motivation to commit to those three months and achieve your language goals. For more information, click on the link in the description box. And if you do decide to sign up, use my code study one for that discount. Right, let's get on with the lesson. So as you know, English is not a phonetic language, which means although you might see a letter in a word, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to pronounce it. I'm here to help you with that. So let's talk about the letters that you should never pronounce in English, the silent letters in English words. I'm going to go through them from A to Z, giving you as many examples as I can possibly fit into this video. I really do advise that you make a note of these and try to use as many as possible throughout your daily life. That way it really gets stuck into your head. Okay, so when should you not pronounce the letter A? Well, when it comes just before L-L-Y at the end of a word. Look at the word on screen. How many syllables should this word have? How many syllables? If you thought three, you're correct. It should be logically. We don't say logically, it's just logically. Some other examples are artistically, romantically, musically. It might be a good time now to mention the homework for today's lesson, which is to add any extra words you can think of in your A to Z list and please share them in the comments. Let's see who can contribute the most words. I'll be looking out for them. Right, let's move on to B. So the B in words is usually silent when it comes before a T or after an M. Let's look at before a T. We have subtle, subtle, no B there. We also have debt, debt. And what about after an M? We have comb, comb, womb, womb, tomb, tomb. Bomb, bomb, plumber, plumber, thumb, thumb. Now there are exceptions to these rules. For example, the word obtain. It comes before a T, yet you pronounce the T. 
or remember, remember. So next we have C. The letter C is usually silent when it comes after an S and before I, E or Y. For example, scissors or science. Another miscellaneous one is muscle, muscle and yacht, yacht. So there is one rule for the letter D. It's normally silent if it comes before an N or a G. For example, Wednesday, pledge, grudge. Other common words include sandwich, handsome, now, silent E's form a big part of the English language. In lower school or primary school, we used to call them magic E's because by putting an E at the end of a word, the vowel before it normally becomes a longer vowel sound. For example, mat changes to mate or strip changes to stripe. Other examples include face, hate, cute, tube. What about the letter G? The letter G is normally not pronounced if it comes before an N. For example, a line, a line, foreign, foreign. There are exceptions to this rule like magnet or signature. G is also not pronounced if it comes after a vowel and before an H. For example, high, light, through. Please do note though that GH is pronounced separately in compound words like doghouse, that's two words put together, or foghorn, another foghorn, two words put together. Sometimes GH is pronounced like an F. For example, laugh, draft, tough. Right, let's talk about H on its own. It's normally silent when it appears after a W. For example, why, what, when. However, sometimes it's not silent, especially if an O follows it. Who, whoever, wholesome. H is also silent at the beginning of many other words like hour, honest, honour. Remember, with an unvoiced H, you have to use the article an, an hour, an honest man. In general, most words beginning with H are voiced and you should use the a uh article. A happy dog, a hare. Let's move on to K. The letter K is almost always silent when it comes before an N at the beginning of a word. For example, night, night, knife, knife, knowledge, knowledge. What about the letter L? The letter L is not usually pronounced if it comes after A, O or U. For example, calf, calf, should should, yoke, yoke. What about the letter N? The letter N is usually silent if it comes after an M at the end of a word. For example, autumn, autumn, column, column, dam, dam. Ah, oh, the letter P. This one has got a bit more meat to it. The P is usually silent in the letter combinations PS, PT and PN used at the beginning of words. For example, psychology, psychology, pterodactyl, pterodactyl. I've always wanted to get a dinosaur into one of my videos and I have done it. Oh, I did not know my New Year's resolution would be so easy to achieve. Pneumonia, pneumonia. Now, P and H together is sometimes pronounced like F. Elephant, elephant, telephone, 
telephone. The letter S. The letter S is not pronounced before L in the following words. Island. Island. That's a really common mistake I hear. I hear Island. Island. Same for Isle. Isle. Now T is a silent letter. It's quite hard to come up with a definitive rule. But commonly, anything ending in S-T-E-N, it's likely to have a silent T. For example, listen, listen, moisten, moisten, and also S-T-L-E, whistle, whistle, castle, castle. Other notable words are words derived from French like ballet, ballet, beret, beret, and then other random ones like often, often, although you will hear that pronounced as often, often. In fact, I was brought up to say often. Right, we're getting close to the end now. What about the letter U? The letter U is usually silent if it comes after a G at the beginning of a word. For example, guess, guess, or guide, guide. And moving on to the letter W. The letter W is usually not pronounced if it comes before R at the beginning of a word. For example, wrong, wrong, rap, rap. Right, right. It is silent, however, if it's followed by an H and an O at the beginning of a word, like who, who, whoever, whoever, whole, whole. And then there are other random words like to, to, and sword, sword. The letter X, the only word I can think of is at the end of a word derived from French, faux, faux. It's a commonly used word in English. And the letter Z, another French word, rendezvous, rendezvous. We don't pronounce the Z there. Right, that's the end of today's lesson. Please do complete the homework. I would like to see as many more examples of silent letters in English words as possible in the comments section. I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for you. Don't forget to check out the Lingoda Language Marathon. I've got the link to my full announcement video and also the sign up link and discount code in the description box. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, I've got my Instagram and I've got my Twitter. And I shall see you soon for another lesson. Mwah. It is Lingoda with their Lingoda language. If you've not heard of Lingoda before, it's an online language academy. The academy. <laughs> language academy. In order to succeed and gain your refund, you need to take part in a good. In order to six. Not only will your young. Not only will your language skills skyrocket, but you'll also get up to the